big big story we breaking here on india today it's the bjp the bjp wins himachal pradesh bjp did not have the numbers as far as sending a candidate to rajya sabha was concerned the congress was certain the congress was very sure that the congress had numbers but we are told that six congress mlas and three independents they cross voted 35 were needed to send a candidate to rajya sabha the congress had 40 in fact at one point of time in the past uh, weeks it was contemplated that perhaps sonia gandhi could consider himachal pradesh uh, as uh, as a safe seat to to come to the rajya sabha fortunately for sonia gandhi they did not choose himachal pradesh because abhishek manu singhvi will not go to rajya sabha from himachal pradesh it's the bjp candidate of course was earlier harsh mahajan was earlier in the congress party harsh mahajan joined the bjp was the bjp candidate and harsh mahajan will be sent to rajya sabha that's the information both the bjp and the congress candidates got 34 votes each 35 were needed and the bjp's strength was only 25 so nine cross uh, candidates uh, nine MLS cross voted in favor of the Bharatiya Janata Party now what's the road ahead because it's not just the question of one candidate being sent to Rajya Sabha it's the state what will happen to the congress's only ruled state in north india what happens to that now let's listen in to the bjp talking about the road ahead kitne vote se jeeta abhi jankari jo humko mili hai विधिवत घोषणा अभी हो रहे तो बाकी है लेकिन काउंटिंग कंप्लीट हुई है ये जानकारी मिली है और बराबर वोट चौतीस चौतीस होने के पश्चात जो तो जानकारी है उसका हम इंतजार कर रहे हैं कि पोस्टल बैलेट बराबर हुए और उसके बाद एक वोट से जीत हुई है जो एक मिनट एक मिनट जो डाला गया जो पर्ची के माध्यम से वहाँ पर रिजल्ट डिक्लेयर करने की बात कर रही है क्या भाजपा के कैंडिडेट जीत गया सर जी जी अभी टॉस यानी कि टॉस या पर्ची से किया जाएगा हाँ बिल्कुल अभी ड्रॉ हुआ है यानी कि चौंतीस 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 अभी अभी टॉस अभी रिजल्ट विधिवत घोषणा होने वाली है लेकिन उसके साथ साथ में मुझे मुझे जो जानकारी मिली है उसके बता दी सबसे पहले तो मैं आदरणीय नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी को बधाई देता हूँ और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के हमारे राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष जगत प्रकाश नड्डा जी को बधाई देता हूं, भाई अमित शाह जी को बधाई देता हूं। बहुत शानदार मुकाबले के बाद जहां जीत की संभावना नहीं थी वहां बहुत बेहतर ढंग से जीत की तरफ हम आगे बढ़ करके अपने लक्ष्य को हासिल करे करने में सफल रहे हैं और एक बार फिर से भाई हर्ष महाजन जी को बहुत बहुत बधाई और उस, उनके साथ साथ में अपने राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष जगत प्रकाश नड्डा जी का और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के हमारे प्रदेश के अध्यक्ष बिंदल जी सारी टीम इस काम में लगी थी और इस जीत के लिए बहुत बहुत बधाई और मुझे और मुझे लगता है ये सही बात होगी हमारी इस जीत को देखते हुए हिमाचल प्रदेश सरकार को अपने पद से मुख्यमंत्री को त्याग पत्र देना चाहिए कुल मिला के अब कह रहे हैं कि जब विधायकों ने साथ छोड़ दिया तो जनता कैसे विश्वास करे बिल्कुल सही बात कह रहा हूँ मैं एक साल में ही विधायक छोड़ करके चले गए आप कल्पना करें सो ऑफिशियल अनाउंसमेंट येट टू बी मेड इट्स गॉन डाउन टू द वायर हिमाचल प्रदेश राज्यसभा कॉन्टेस्ट डाउन टू द वायर one rajya sabha seat one rajya sabha seat the congress should have comfortably won the congress has 40 mlas in himachal pradesh should have comfortably won but the information is that nine six congress and three independent mlas have cross voted both the congress and the bjp as of now we are told have 34 each okay we are also getting a reaction from the bjp candidate harsh mahajan let's quickly listen in
I quickly want to cut across to India today's Manjit Sehgal joining us live for more on this story. So Manjit, the official announcement yet to be made. From what we are told, it's 34-34. Is the BJP celebrating a bit too soon? Arshmajan has been declared a winner after there was a tie on the basis of a chit Harsh Mahajan. It's among his supporters now who are shouting Jai Shri Ram slogans. Harsh Ram, Harsh Mahajan. Basically, he was a Congress leader. He resigned and joined the BJP in 2020. And after he started working for the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, as per a strategy, has fielded him. And Harsh Mahajan had himself said that he had made the contest very interesting. All we know that Harsh Mahajan was a senior Congress leader. He was one of the most close, confident leaders of and strategist of late Veer Bhadra Singh. Yes. Harsh Mahajan was time and again claiming that he was in touch with many Congress MLAs who could vote in favor of the Bharatiya Janata Party. And this is what happened today. Nine Congress MLAs, as per the BJP sources, have cross-voted in favor of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Remember, Bharatiya Janata Party had just 25 votes and it was on the basis of the cross votes and support of the independent MLAs that BJP was able to win this election and got 34 votes. In fact, there was a tie and it was later decided on the basis of the chits and the results were announced in favor of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Okay. Harsh Mahajan will now go to Rajya Sabha and not Abhishek Manu Singhvi, who was a Congress candidate, Abhishek Manu Singhvi was being dubbed as an outsider by these leaders. Give me a moment. I quickly want to cut across to Harsh Mahajan. Uh, he's, he's reacting to his victory. A chance of Jai Shri Ram and Bharat Mata ki Jai as uh, Harsh Mahajan. Okay, is he speaking again? Let, let's try and listen. Wait, wait. <laughs> As, as we wait to hear Harsh Mahajan, I also want to bring in India today's Preeti Chaudhary. For more on this, uh, uh, Preeti has been tracking Himachal Pradesh very, very closely. And Preeti, this is BJP actually snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. They are 25, Congress has 40. It should have been a no contest here. Well, it should have been a no contest there, but what does it augur for the larger picture where uh, Sukhvinder Sukhu is concerned and the chief ministership is concerned? Because yes, uh, you know, nor did management of the Congress favor Abhishek Manu Singhvi and nor did luck. So what really it happened as per protocol, as per procedure, uh, it was a tie which was 34-34 each, which means six of the Congress MLAs uh, plus uh, three of the independents have voted in favor of the Bharatiya Janata Party. What our sources are also telling us within the Congress that these MLAs were unhappy with the, the uh, Chief Minister Sukhvinder Sukhu is what we are being told. Most of them suggest that uh, they are not unhappy with the party but with the Chief Minister. Uh, they were vying for cabinet berths, they were not accommodated. Uh, it is an open secret that there are two camps within the Himachal Congress. One, of course, uh, Pratibha Singh Vikram Aditya and the other of Sukhvinder Sukhu. Uh, something that the Congress practically should have read, which was writing on the wall ever since uh, Sukhvinder Sukhu was given the Chief Ministership, was that this uh, divide or uh, this wedge was only widening. Why especially the Congress leadership at the center you know, handle this. Rahul Gandhi's Nyai Yatra, senior Congress leaders, uh, uh, you know, why couldn't they handle this and arrest the decline? 
Well, you know, the deal is, like I said, even during Ram Mandir time, uh, it was Vikram Aditya who defied party whip and went in for the inauguration of the Ram Mandir. At that point of time, uh, that should have sent alarm bells ringing that this divide is only going to but widen. But having said that, uh, you know, yes, uh, it's, it was a tie, so it was luck that brought in the BJP because it was through lots that it was pulled out. But yes, this was supposed to be a very, very comfortable win for the Congress. Ideally, the Congress should have managed this election better. Uh, they should have made sure uh, that their MLAs, they spoke to their MLAs in advance and they were all in it together. Till late last night, uh, when we spoke to uh, you know, the Chief Minister of uh, uh, Himachal, he was very sure. He said that he had 40 MLAs plus three independents in the bag yes. and what he needed was 35. So, you know, it was a majority which was way beyond. But having said that, it will raise ra larger questions, Gaurav, and larger questions need to be raised. How is it that, uh, you know, you know that the CRPF is being bought in, yes. uh, the Haryana police has been bought in, and these MLAs now have been ferried to Panchkula, which has set the stage of what could possibly happen tomorrow. And I'll come to that in just a moment, but, but to think Think of, uh, you know, what the Congress was planning uh, or was considering that they were planning to field Sonia Gandhi uh, uh, from Himachal Pradesh at one point of time. Had that happened, it could have been a disaster for No, the had that happened, actually, that, that should have been strategizing. Because if that had happened, possibly the result would be very different. Because imagine for once, uh, what are these two camps? Divided between Pratibha Singh and divided between uh, Sukhvinder Sukhu. Yeah. Instead of an outsider, A, let me give, tell you the first time ever that an outsider has been fielded from Rajya Sabha seat in Himachal. So in any uh, case, there was a bit disaffection against Abhishek Manu Singh, that why he was fielded. On the other hand, if they had fielded Sonia Gandhi, this, you know, what we keep talking about, the master stroke, of uh, the Congress, uh, of uh, the BJP at times, okay. could have been a master stroke by the Congress because would ha any of these MLAs have dared to vote against Sonia Gandhi because all of them are saying they are very, very happy with the party. Would a okay. Pratibha Singh camp vote against a Sonia Gandhi? Not quite. So ideally, the Congress should have fielded a Sonia Gandhi instead okay. of Abhishek Manu Singhvi and he should have practically been fielded from a Karnataka. Well, uh, and, and you know, which is what Rajdeep Sardesai was also talking about just a short while back in that conversation with you, when Rajdeep said that Abhishek Manu Singh, we didn't know whether he should pack a sweater and a jacket, go head to the hills or head to Karnataka or, or Rajasthan. But I also want to bring in Javed Ansari, a former colleague and senior journalist, tracking the story closely. We also have uh, Dr. Abhishek Rai of the Samajwadi Party and Shehzad Poonawala of the BJP joining us. We also have Vineet Goenka, uh, author and political analyst, joining us on this special broadcast. But uh, Ra uh, you know, uh, how do you look at it, Javed, uh, where the Congress comfortably had 40, Abhishek Manu Singh, has lost? Yes, and uh, like a small correction here, it's not through a draw of lots. There are also second preference votes. So, dip, uh, so it's also, this, he has not only got all the first preference votes, he also appears to have got the required number of second preference votes, which has seen him nudge past the Mr. Abhishek, Abhishek Manu Singhvi. And there is a larger story here now. Apart from the management or, or the lack of it, the Suku government stands in peril. Yes. I am, I, ha, I am told that there is a cut motion that has been moved. A cut motion is moved on a money bill. And if, and if that cut, if, or if all these MLAs vote, according, vote against tomorrow, then the Suku government will, will cease to exist. It will fall. But you so know, Javed, there's officially, only... officially the word has come in that uh, there was a tie, 34-34 yes. each, and there was a draw of lots that was held in which Harsh Mahajan was declared the winner. That's been, okay, that's fine. just been declared by the fine, presiding fine. officer. May, may, you are better informed. My sources tell me that it was the second preference vote which tilted the dice in favor of, uh, of Mr. Harsh Mahajan, but nonetheless, the Sukhu's government itself stands in peril. Yes. As and... far as this... As far as this question of putting up Sonia Gandhi was concerned, that was a risk. Sukhu wanted her to contest, either her or Priyanka. His hope was that she would be able to cement the friction. But that was a risk which the Congress High Command was not willing to take. That's why they fielded her from, from Rajya Sabha, where they had a huge cushion. Apparently, you need 37 MLAs from Rajasthan, and the Congress has 80 plus. So the BJP would really have to move, had a mountain to climb if they really 
wanted to defeat here. You know, because Javed, many would have thought that the BJP would have had a mountain to move even here. BJP at 25 and they still managed, uh, which means the fissures, they were able to exploit. But uh, you, Preeti raised a very interesting point and I want to bring in Shehzad Poonawala of the BJP. On that point, Shehzad Poonawala, money power, muscle power, CRPF apparently, and that's what the chief minister of the state, he's claiming that CRPF personnel were used to move six to seven Congress MLAs outside and move them to Panchkula. This, the Congress claims, is murder of democracy by the BJP. First of all, Gaurav, since this news has just come in from Dev Bhumi, I want to congratulate Dev Bhumi for ensuring that the Asuras are defi defeated this time. Special congratulations to our national president who hails from Himachal Pradesh and also a special thank you to Priyanka Vadraji. Special thank you to her because, you know, these days, I don't know, many people speak about relations not being good between brother and sister. Because we all know her loyalties are towards a different camp. Rahul ji's loyalties are towards a different camp and Pratibha ji's uh, problems were being documented for the last one year. She was on record to say ki Sangathan Naraz hai. Then Vikram Aditya ji rejected what Rahul Gandhi said about Ram Mandir and he came for the Ram Mandir Pran Pratishta. So anyways, since we should all be graceful and gracious, I want to also thank Priyanka Vadra ji. Having said that, Rahul, uh, Gaurav, is this uh, entire analysis also applicable when the Karnataka BJP MLA cross votes for the Congress or is it only specially applicable to BJP? When BJP uh, has a government with Uddhav Sena and Uddhav Sena leaves us and goes away, does that apply there? No, when but uh, Mr. Tejasvi has a break, four MLAs from MIM and takes them to use of RJD, does it apply there? Sir, use of CRPF, according to the Chief Minister Sukhvinder Sukhu, this is not source-based in information. The Chief Minister claims CRPF was used to ferry uh, Congress Party MLAs and independents out of Himachal Pradesh and into Haryana, sir. Gaurav, Sukhuji's claims have lesser value than items sold in Chor Bazaar. What happened to the claim of 1500 to every woman in Himachal? What happened to the claim of 300 units being given free in Himachal? What happened to the claims of diesel petrol price will not no, be increased? But sir, what does that have to do with this Rajya Sabha so election? Sukhuji has not lived up to any of the guarantees given. It's not a claim, Shahzad. It's, it it's been documented his by a reporter. His so, claims are not credible. It's not a claim. It's been documented by a reporter. Now, can I answer one person at a time? Uh, Preeti, Preeti, then there is also a claim that money power has been used in order to get our MLA in Congress uh, to cross vote for Congress in Karnataka. Please verify both the claims. But sir, and this is not a claim. No, no, but sir, this is not a claim. These the... were visuals, which were, these were visuals that were tweeted out uh, by, you know, ANI. These were visuals that were recorded by the Ajitak cameras. That's all I'm trying to mm -hmm. say. Okay, let me, let me. Okay. Now, Preeti, if I may be able to answer your question without you interrupting. Can I answer Preeti's question, please? Yes. Are you suggesting, Preeti? that the CRPF would partake in the kidnapping of elected MLAs from a state which is run by a state government of Congress? Are you putting this allegation on the CRPF that men in uniform would do anything illegal? Preeti, I cannot expect somebody of India today who is a journalist of India today and sits with Gaurav Savan who says nation first would put an allegation like that on CRPF. You blame us. Sir, you blame blame us. Second. Blame no, 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 one BJP. second, That's one second. Right. Nobody Why bl blame the CRPF? The no, 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 CRPF one second. Nobody is blaming kidnapping. the CR. You know, Shahzad, don't minister. twist, don't twist, don't twist so what therefore, I said. So therefore, the two claims said, should be examined. Do not twist what I said to your convenience, what I said something. Preeti, don't interrupt me. No, sir. Let me complete sir, you one asked, you, you leveled a charge. Preeti, one let me complete. You leveled yes, a charge. Mr. Yes, Mr. Punawala, you leveled a charge that I leveled a charge at the CRPF. Let, 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 let Preeti respond, let sir. Let me complete. Sir, since let you said something very specific, let me complete. give me a you moment, sir. She has interrupted me. I have not completed. Give me a moment. Let Preeti quickly respond to you. Let me complete. And then we'll take this conversation forward. Preeti, why are you trying to drown me down? Nobody is going to drown you out. No failures go down. Let me come. So far. Give me a moment. Preeti, let Preeti complete a point. Mr. Poonawala, Mr. Poonawala, Mr. Poonawala, then let me come in after that. Do me this curse, absolutely. After that, let me come in. Absolutely. After that, let me come in. Go ahead. After that, let me come in. Make sure that you let me come in after that. I don't know. I don't understand to understand what's got your goat. It's a very small observation that CRPF forces were used. Now, you trying to twist it around and say that I am alleging that CRPF or I am blaming the CRPF or I'm charging the CRPF. Who am I? I'm no one. It's a, as a journalist, it's a question which should be asked, now which was I asked, respond? that central forces were used. 
That's it. Fair enough, and it's a claim that's been Can made by the Chief Minister of the State, who's about to speak. But go on, Mr. Punamala, quickly respond, sir. Can I respond? Yes, go on. Based on visuals of CRPF circling those MLAs, Preeti has concluded this. But Preeti, on the basis of the official statement of Veer Bhadra Singh's wife and Veer Bhadra Singh's son, why don't you conclude that the entire Pratibha Singh camp was unhappy with Sukhu? I did. On the basis of their official recorded statements, Preeti, for a change. Please don't interrupt now. You promised you will listen to me. What's getting your vote, Preeti? Please listen. Okay. Secondly, Preeti Chaudhary, if we are coming to surmises based on visuals, then the visuals and statements are also there that Congress has indulged in a lot of play in Karnataka, examine all the allegations. Himachal is a Congress government. And by the way, Preeti Chaudhary, the statements of the MLAs of Uttar Pradesh who have not voted with Samajwadi Party are on record. Examine those also. Or did you find the CRPF trying to manipulate the vote there also? I no. think we should all okay. try to be... Okay, okay, Abhishek Baru Singh, we are speaking you know, and so anyway, Sukhu yeah, listen within, to let's quickly cut across and listen in. Or Tisra, आवाज करेंगे तो फिर एक दूसरे की बात कटेगी. अलग-अलग किसी से बात नहीं करेंगे. जितने लोग आप खड़े हैं, लगा लीजिए कैमरा, एक साथ बोलेंगे. चौहान जी, एक just take a full clip, उस पर लिंक भेज देंगे सबको. Continuous clip. अब इधर आजी, इधर. अलग-अलग लोगों की मांगते हैं तो दोस्तों बताएं कब शुरू करना है सब आ गए आपके दोस्त हिंदी इंग्लिश सब हिंदी बोल रहा हूँ मैं यहाँ पे मैंने आज तक कोई कॉन्फ्रेंस पहले इंग्लिश से शुरू नहीं किया नॉट वन इन ट्वेंटी फोर इयर्स दोस्तों बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद आने के लिए मैं पहले संक्षिप में हिंदी में बोलूंगा फिर इंग्रजी में कृपा शांति बरताएं पहली बात मैं कहना चाहता हूं कि मैं कांग्रेस की पूरी लीडरशिप की तरफ अपना कृतज्ञता व्यक्त करना चाहता हूं उन्होंने मेरे अंदर विश्वास रखा चौथी बार के लिए मुझे उम्मीदवार बनाया मैं तहे दिल से माननीय कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष पूर्व कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी श्री शस्त्र नेतृत्व जो भी है सबको धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं दूसरी बात मैं तहे दिल से माननीय मुख्यमंत्री को और हर एमएलए जो यहां बैठे हैं जो आपको दिख रहे हैं कुछ नहीं दिख रहे हैं उनको जेनुइन तहे दिल से धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं वो पूरी तरह से प्रयत्नशील थे उम्मीद बनाए बैठे थे और दिन रात उन्होंने परिश्रम किया मेरा समर्थन किया तीसरा मैं उन नौ एमएलए को भी धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं जिसमें से नौ के नौ कल रात तक हमारे साथ बैठे थे खाना खाया था जलपान किया था फोटोज ली थी उसके पहले जो बार बार हमसे मिले थे मुझसे ही नहीं मुख्यमंत्री जी से ही नहीं लेकिन सब एमएलए से कई आश्वासन दिए थे और जिनमें से तीन आज हमारे साथ नाश्ता करके निकले थे उनको भी धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं क्योंकि उनसे हमको कुछ शिक्षा मिली है कम से कम मुझे निजी रूप से शिक्षा मिली है मनोवैज्ञानिक शिक्षा मिली है मैं इस संदर्भ में एक विनम्रता से प्रश्न पूछना चाहता हूं नहीं सबसे पहले उससे पहले मैं माननीय हर्ष महाजन जी को तय दिल से धन्यवाद तय दिल से बधाई देना चाहता हूँ वो जीते हैं और उनका हक बनता है बधाई प्रदान करने का एक बात जरूर मैं कहूंगा उनकी पार्टी को अपनी गिरेबान में देख के सोचें जब भी कोई पार्टी 25 और 43 के आंकड़े या इक्वेशन में 25 वाली पार्टी 43 वाले के विरुद्ध उम्मीदवार खड़ा करती है तो उसका एक सिर्फ एक और एक ही संदेश हो सकता है और मैं हर्ष महाजन जी की बात नहीं कर रहा हूं मैं इस चुनाव की बात नहीं कर रहा हूं मैं एक सिद्धांत की बात कर रहा हूं वो संदेश है कि हम बेशर्मी से वो करेंगे जो कानून में अनुमति जिसकी नहीं है अगर आप समझते हैं कि एक व्यक्ति या दो व्यक्ति या नौ व्यक्ति अचानक एक नई नीति एक नई सोच एक नई आइडियोलॉजी के अंतर्गत कल रात के 
डिनर और आज सुबह के नाश्ते के बाद बदल गए हैं तो मैं समझता हूँ कि हम सब जो अंग्रेजी में कहावत है एक फूल्स पैराडाइज पर रहते हैं ये बदलाव बहुत दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है भारत के लिए और विशेष रूप से हिमाचल प्रदेश के लिए जिसकी संस्कृति जिसके पहाड़ी या नीचे रहने वाले लोग इस संस्कृति से अवगत नहीं थे कुछ समय पहले तक अगर ये नए भारत न्यू इंडिया की परिभाषा है तो मैं तो पुराने भारत को ही प्रेफर करूंगा हमने हारते हारते भी इतिहास बनाया है इतिहास इसलिए कि इतनी जद्दोजहद की इतना मन बदलाव किया लेकिन एक और मन बदलाव नहीं कर सके इसलिए चौंतीस चौंतीस का स्वाभाविक आंकड़ा भारत में शायद पहली बार और आने वाले कई दशकों में वापस होने वाली नहीं चीज हुई है कि चौंतीस चौंतीस का हमारे मित्रों के इतने प्रयत्न करने के बाद भी आंकड़ा आया और चौंतीस चौंतीस का आंकड़ा स्वाभाविक आया एक वोट भी इनवैलिड नहीं हुआ सेकेंड प्रेफरेंस वोट भी एक भी नहीं था ये इस चुनाव की विशेषता है शायद पिछहत्तर साल में पहले कभी नहीं हुआ और उसकी सबसे बड़ी विशेषता कि उसके बाद एक ड्रॉ ऑफ लॉट से निर्णय हुआ मैं सिर्फ ये कहना चाहूंगा कि जो हुआ सो हुआ हमको भविष्य का सोचना चाहिए और एक आश्वासन दे के मैं हिमाचल से जा रहा हूं हिमाचल की बात नहीं कर रहा हूं लेकिन मैं अपनी बात कर रहा हूं कि जिन लोगों ने इतना प्रयत्न किया उनको सिर्फ मैं कह दूं विनम्रता से पलट के आऊंगा शाखों पे खुशबू लेकर पलट के आऊंगा शाखों में खुशबू लेकर खिजा की जद हूं मैं मौसम जरा बदलने दो तो सबको वापस बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आई रिपीट दिस वेरी ब्रीफली इन इंग्लिश I want to thank from the bottom of my heart the entire top leadership of the Congress, the Congress President, the former Congress President, Shrimati Sonia Gandhi, and the entire top leadership for having reposed faith in me a fourth time. They sent me to Himachal out of good faith, and I am truly, truly grateful for the remarkable amount of confidence and faith they have reposed in me. Secondly, I would like to thank profusely, starting from the Honourable Chief Minister, each and every MLA, most of whom are now in this room, the office bearers of the Congress Party, each one of them, for having tried their best, worked hardest, been highly cooperative. And thirdly, I'd also like to thank the nine persons. because they have taught me a lot about human nature its fickleness or its resoluteness they have taught us a lot because they supped with us in the biblical terms it's called supping with us dinner drinks and photography till 11 o'clock last night and three of them had breakfast with us or two of them had breakfast with us so i think we are bad judges of human character they are obviously better judges of human character fourthly i would like to say that and i don't say it, uh, fourthly i want to congratulate mr harsh mahajan genuinely he is the elected candidate and he deserves my congratulations and he has it i've done it personally inside the counting center but i would like to raise a question without being moralistic or without being you know didactic or sermonizing i would like to raise a question for all those who believe in this new india bjp philosophy this new india definition of the bjp is that when a party with 25 persons sets up a candidate with 40 or 43 either figure you can choose then i believe humbly that there is only one message which is intended to be sent there is no other message possible because the arithmetic of an open election in the rajya sabha is crystal clear that message is that we shall shamelessly by hook or by crook and more by crook and less by hook win the election at any cost if it's at any cost if any of you think that it's out of ideological conversion overnight after 11 o'clock dinner yesterday or when if you think that he they have suddenly discovered new vistas 
then I think we are all living in a fool's paradise. There is one and only one explanation for it. And we all know that explanation. None of us eats grass. And I think to expect that we eat grass or that the nation thinks that we eat grass is wrong. Finally, even while losing, I think both of us, the losing candidate and the winning candidate, have created history of a different kind. It's the first election, as far as I know, of any place, any state in Rajya Sabha, where A, there has been no first preference versus second preference issue. B, there is not a single invalidated vote. C, there is a natural division, not by addition or invalidation, a natural division of exactly 50% each, 34 versus 34. After that, it is written in the stars and written by God that by a draw of lots, one shall lose or one shall win. In the normal draw of lots, by the way, the name which is taken out wins. Under this strange rule of the election commission which I found today, the name taken out of the box, which was mine, loses, is excluded. Friends, I would uh, thank everybody, including all of you, for all the kindness is done to me and end with uh, by saying what I said in Hindi, Palat ke aunga shakho pe khushbu lekar, Palat ke aunga shakho me khushbu lekar, Khiza ki jad hu me, Mausam zara badal ne do. Thank you so much. Mausam zara badal ne do, but will the mausam actually take a turn for the worse as far as the Congress is concerned in Himachal Pradesh starting tomorrow? Because if nine candidates Six of the Congress and three independents are on the other side. Out of 40, reduce that number to nine, or 43, reduce that number to nine, and the government is already in the minority as the BJP insists that Preeti Chaudhary, this doesn't bode well for the Chief Minister or the Congress government of Himachal Pradesh. Well, you know, not at all, Garvan. That's exactly what we were saying earlier because the writing has been on the wall for the Congress. They haven't read it. They haven't been able to get their lot together, not just this election, but even where the Himachal Pradesh government is concerned. The disaffection between the two camps of Pratibha Singh, Vikram Aditya and Sukhvinder Sukhu was not lost when Sukhvinder Sukhu was made, made the, the Chief, Chief Minister. minister. Yeah. And it was only heightened two months ago when Vikram Aditya defied party whip, attended the Ram Mandir inauguration. Constantly, Pratibha Singh has been, at least her uh, group of MLAs, have been trying to contact and have actually made contact with the Congress proverbial high command, stating that they're not happy with the current chief minister. Even the six that have now, uh, you know, are in Panchkula, um, not very uh, long back, had got in touch and said they were not happy, unhappy with the Congress, but unhappy with the chief ministership. Some of them were promised cabinet berths and were not given. A reason enough to bring the government down, but that reason, if if Congress leadership didn't want to attend uh, them to attend the Ram Mandir Pran Pratishtha and Vikramaditya still did, does that give them an excuse? Uh, and I want to take this to Sharat Pradhan, uh, of course, and we'll come to you, Sharat Pradhan, for more on Uttar Pradesh in just a moment. But doesn't that give these leaders an excuse? to say like some did in Uttar Pradesh of the Samajwadi party while voting for the BJP candidate that how can you tell us not to go for Ram Mandir Pran Pratishtha and still expect us to vote and this is a vote against Parivar Vad. Sharat Pradhan, would you look at no, it in I, the same I, context? I, I, anybody, anybody believing this, I would say it's, it's complete, it would be naive to believe this. There is obviously play of money and the politics, the kind of politics that is being played today, uh, apart from other than... Uh, the misuse of agencies like the ED and CBI, here in this case, it appears pretty evident that there's a blatant flow of money and BJP has no dearth of resources, which is, I mean, that, that is less, less said the better. So, so to say that there's been an ideological shift overnight, there's a change of heart is all, I think it's nonsense. And only a naive person would believe, okay. uh, tend to believe that. Obviously, this thing was cooking. It's a failure of the Congress to have not woken up to it. And, uh, but... Or walked way, into this eyes wide shut, but Shahzad Purnawala... BJP believes in... No, BJP doesn't believe in principles that one thought that BJP was a party with a difference once upon a time. Is now like if they would stoop down to any level. And their standards, their double standards, triple standards, and which is blatantly visible, whatever they have done, and 
Himachal is uh, is, a, is a glaring example. Okay, Shahzad Poonawala respond. Ram Mandir, Pran Pratishtha, uh, change of heart. None of this uh, is responsible. And you heard Abhishek Manu Singhvi. He said, till last night, we, we all had dinner together. Three of them had breakfast together and then went voted BJP. Till a few weeks ago, Anand Sharma was given the impression he was going to go to Raj Sabha and then he was defeated and cheated. So perhaps like they, he felt cheated, he perhaps has some people in Himachal Congress, I'm sure, who are close and loyal to him. So please ask Anand Sharma, please ask Priyanka Vadra, why are you asking me this question as to why they've had a change of heart? But since we're setting standards and since we're holding the BJP to a particular standard, I would like to ask Sharadji, with all due respect at, uh, at my command, Sharadji, when parties are breaking the MLAs of MIM and taking them into RJD, is it role of money power or there it is all done on principle? When it is the BSP MLAs which were supporting Rajasthan government are taken into Congress party overnight, is that role of money power or that time it is all uh, hunky-dory, it is done on the principles? When Uddhav Sena, which took the vote with us, went on overnight and formed government with Sharad Pawar, was it the role of principle or role of money power? Or is this classification and all these standards or this uh, vision is only set for BJP or perhaps your analysis is only blinkered with one view? I'm, I'm asking in a very genuine way because I didn't hear uh, Sharad Pradhan's uh, uh, explanations when Nitish Kumar switched over and he had gone to the RJD side when the mandate was with us under <laughs> NDA government. Anyways, okay. be that as it may, today I think that the person who has lost the election is a very eminent lawyer. He has recently, they have got a victory on the Chandigarh elections and they've said Supreme Court is free and fair. If money, power or agencies have been misused, go to the courts. The courts are anyways uh, giving the right verdicts on many cases. You just quoted Supreme Court on Chandigarh elections. So I think you should go to the courts. But when the agency acts on Kejriwal, till yesterday you were calling it all correct action. And today you are suddenly saying agencies are being misused. I think it stinks of hypocrisy. <laughs> but then fair enough. This is the but kind let me of bring in Javed Ansari and still, since we are still and, uh, sitting. Sharanji, I'm and, uh, sorry for your loss today. I am not, uh, uh, Gaurav, uh, may, may uh, I Of course. I am sorry yes, for the quickly, loss. Sir. Well, well, quickly, well, I am not sir. surprised at what uh, Shahzad Poonawala has to say because after all, it is his duty as a spokesman of the BJP to defend uh, the, the, the indefensible. So, that's what he is doing. And he's going, but the only in the bargain he doesn't realize that there are people who do not believe in that two wrongs make a right. And in this case, if he's trying to say that he didn't hear me, and it's not my fault. It is his fault. I, I want to bring it. in Javed and Sari. No, Fair no, no, enough, no. Sir, sir, you made your point and, you know, then we'll be repeating <laughs> ourselves, uh, you know. Laughable. Javed and Sari, the bigger problem for the Congress actually starts tomorrow. It's not just about one Rajya Sabha seat. It's about the state of Himachal Pradesh. Is it then, you know, it's, it's gone as far as the Congress is concerned? Well, that's the point I made earlier also, that more than the seat, the, the, the Sukhu government stands in peril. If it's 34, 34, then I don't know the speaker has the casting vote. And perhaps the speaker is a congressman, maybe he might decide. But otherwise, this government is skating, either which way, this government is skating on very, very thin ice. And I find it difficult to believe that the MLAs will vote one way for, as far as Raj Sabha is concerned, and, and exactly the opposite as far as the uh, saving the government or bringing down the government is concerned. Okay, but let, let us look at the bigger picture that's also emerging, not just from Himachal Pradesh, where several people have said that if somebody is uh, forced on us from the party leadership or Parivarwad, that's unacceptable. It's being said in Uttar Pradesh and it's being said even in Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh. Dr. Abhishek Rai, even in Uttar Pradesh, when Samajwadi party leaders vote for the BJP candidate, they are saying that... We've done that because we are choosing the right person for the right issue. It's for development. It's for Ram Mandir. Listen, we want to say that. We were expecting that those who didn't come in our meeting, we were expecting that that, that could happen. BJP is showing their muscle power. And basically, they want to defame and uh, want to just create an atmosphere which is favorable for their Lok Sabha elections. They just want to get power at any cost. They believe in British apologies, divide and rule. And always they do that. 
No, but if they, they are, believe in divide and rule, that, why are you unable to save people. your house, sir? Why is the Samajwadi Party, for example, in Uttar Pradesh, unable to save its house? We are very safe. We just wanted to check who are with the PDA, who are with the Pichra, who are with the Dalits, who are with the Alpsankhets, who are with the Agrani, who are with the Adiyabadi. We want to save that. And this is very clear. Some some of them were uh, speculated for uh, CBI exposure. Some were, uh, were exposed for ED. And the misuse of the missionaries are always there. You know that. And that okay. is why this thing has happened in Uttar Pradesh. And we are very confident about that. We are not... Uh, some lots of packages have been given. Okay. Lots of packages have been given from... Before I get Shahzad Punawala to respond, I also want to bring in Vineet Goyanka um, ah, in, in, into this conversation. Into this. Akhilesh Yadav went on record to say that we okay. knew what are the packages that are being offered and some people have got a bada package. A bada package will come, that's why the vote hamare not come in our Words to that effect. Vineet Goyanka, money par, muscle par. That's what works for the BJP is the allegation. Gaurav, Ramram to you, Ramram to all my co-panelists and all the viewers who are watching me right now. Be it be Himachal or Uttar Pradesh, I think it is more about the conscious uh, role played by the MLAs there. Had it been money power, then how come Abhishek Manushangi has declared 1,870 crore rupees, who also gets around 28 crore rupees fees from Ahmadmi party every year, loses this. Money power is something which is baseless. I think moreover, people are unhappy with the Congress leadership. Their MLAs are unhappy. If you see, not only Pratibha Singh, but in Himachal Pradesh, it is also Mr. Agni Hotri who is not happy, the leader of the house. So there are people within the Congress establishment, within the Samajwadi party. And if you see in Samajwadi party, I think eight or nine MLAs did not attend the dinner or thrown by Akhilesh. They are unhappy with the way Akhilesh dealt with Netaji in the last leg of his life. They are unhappy with Akhilesh because, you know, the statement and the stand which he took about Ram Mandir. I think both in Himachal and in Uttar Pradesh, uh, it was a fair play. Uh, if it is about cross-voting, it is about the conscious decision by those elected representatives and it is also voice of the people who are there. So I, my that. suggestion would be Congress and Samajwadi Party should think. Okay. Read about their stand. I for just want to respond on that. Okay, sir, if your party's chief whip ends up voting not in favor of the party, but for the BJP, what does that indicate for the Samajwadi party? Preeti, you want to weigh in on this aspect on Samajwadi party if the chief whip doesn't vote, if nine MLAs, and India Today broke that story um, on the news track uh, last night, that nine MLAs had stayed away. So the writing was on the wall even in Uttar Pradesh. You know... The fact is very clear, the Congress as well as the Samajwadi Party, the Congress in Himachal, the Samajwadi Party has to take full responsibility for getting themselves in a spot that they have. They should have managed this election better. You had a DK Shiv Kumar who was practically a poll agent in Karnataka. Yes. They should have had people on ground figuring it out for themselves. But what's interesting also, Gaurav, you know, to flip it a bit, is where we talk about the subconscious or the Antaratma, both in Himachal as well as in Samajwa, as in uh, 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 Uttar Pradesh. The Antar Atma is only place hai exactly to fit in the number that the BJP needed. And what explains the Antar Atma of a Raja Bhaiya? On the other hand, also, if it is a democratic process, then like in the state of Karnataka, you know, you can debate uh, in Uttar Pradesh, uh, maybe uh, the party fielding an extra candidate that the BJP fielded because you had RLD, and then you didn't know where the others would also vote. Yes. But you have always fielded an extra candidate knowing there could be cross-voting because that's, you know, also a charge that if it is a democratic process, then why would you field an extra candidate when you know you don't have the numbers? But having said that, okay. you know, all of this aside, the Congress and the Samajwadi Party solely responsible of what they find themselves in today. Absolutely. You know, Parivarvad is a major charge that, that Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the BJP regularly levels against parties like the Samajwadi Party and the Congress. And has Parivarvad actually boomeranged uh, Dr. Abhishek Rai uh, for the Samajwadi Party in Uttar Pradesh? Gaurav, can I answer, answer yeah. that? Yes, please, sir. Yeah, just I want to say, see, if uh, uh, for my turn. we are always charged about Parivarvad. In a moment, okay. Mr. Poonawala, but let, let uh, Dr. Rai complete his point. Go on, sir. Yeah, 
I just want to uh, 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 to answer you. Come to me. Always yeah. we are talked about Sama Parivarwar. Are there not BJP members? Rajna Singh's son is not a Parivarwar. Rajveer Singh is who? Who is Rajveer Singh? Kalyan Singh's uh, grandson is a minister in Uttar Pradesh. That is not Parivarwar. I'm just talking about Uttar Pradesh. I'm not talking about the whole scenario. I can list you lots of names. So sure you can, but you know, the, wouldn't that be cold to comfort to you? To given who, who nine is, of your MLA stayed away from the dinner yesterday, Thakur? sir. Who is Anurag Thakur? Who is Anurag Thakur? Sir, that who may help Amrak you win Thakur? television debating points. Does that help you get Rajya Sabha seats? Fair enough. You have that point. Please feel free to make that Listen point, to sir. Me. What I want to tell you, see, we we are we are we, we just this, this is the third seat was a win for us. We knew who are not with us, who are not supporting PDA, okay. who don't want the PDA to progress. Fair enough. Shehzad Poonawala, the point that's being made is this is not BJP's victory. This is not in our conscience. This is BJP money power plus enforcement directorate plus CBI uh, plus all the money and muscle power that the BJP can bring together to work on on. Raja Bhaiya on others, on Samajwadi party leaders, and that's how you get the numbers. Gaurav, I request you only for 45 seconds without interruptions because I heard everybody out, including Preeti. If you're talking about Raja Bhaiya's conscience, Janardhan Reddy from the Reddy brothers has voted for the Congress candidate today. Who has conscience? Who has voted for the Congress candidate today? And who has voted उसपे नहीं पूछना है सिलेक्टिवली अपने को राजा भैया ठीक लगे तो वो कोट करो जनार्दन रेड्डी पर चुप हो जाओ ये कहते हैं कि मनी पावर पैकेज ये सारी चीजें तो पैकेज लेने वाले लोगों को आपने टिकट दे कर रखा था विधायक बना कर रखा था ऐसे लोगों को विधायक जो बिकाव है डरपोक है ऐसे लोगों को विधायक बनाया और पीडीए की बात करें पीडीए का तो शेरवानी ने शेरवानी उतार दिया था कुछ दिन पहले पीडीए का आज जो वोट किया है पूजा पाल यू नो हु पूजा पाल गौरव यू वुड नो राजू पाल विडो Pooja Pal is the one who said, don't patronize Atik Ahmed. This Akhilesh and his company patronized Atik Ahmed till the last day. Should she not vote for the dignity and the respect of her husband? Then who has voted? Maurya ji. Is he against PDA? So I think, you know, these kinds of claims. And Manoj Pandey is on record to say that Swami Prasad Maurya is a madman when he abuses Prabhu Ram and Ram Charit Manas. What did Akhilesh do on Swami Prasad Maurya? And yet PDA, PDA kar rahe hai, to Jaya Bachchan PDA se hai. Ye Ranjan PDA se hai. पूछे ना इनसे किसको बना रहे हैं एमपी सुमन जी को बना रहे जया बच्चन का नाम नंबर वन पे रखा ना ये पीडीए से जया बच्चन ये पीडीए पीडीए बोल रहे हैं एंड आई थिंक इफ यू वांट टू डू द विश्लेषण देन डू द विश्लेषण कि हाउ जनार्दन रेड्डी वोटेड फॉर कांग्रेस मैन ओके बटिफिक नेम्स दैट यू रेज वरना यू नो दीज पीपल गौरव ये ईवीएम से चुनाव हारते तो ईवीएम खराब आई एम जस्ट हैप्पी टूडे दे नॉट ब्लेमिंग जनता क्योंकि जनता का रोल नहीं था इसमें ये आज केवल हम सबको दोष दे रहे हैं सीआरपीएफ तक को दोष दे दिया ये अगर लोकसभा इलेक्शन होता तो ये लोग बैठ के जनता को भी बहुत गालियां दे रहे होते कि जनता को हैक कर दिया इन लोगों ने बीजेपी ने मेन्यूपुलेट कर दिया जनता को बट लेट मी टेक दैट टू शरद प्रधान लेट मी टेक दैट टू शरद प्रधान एंड आई वॉन्ट ब्रिंग इन यू नो विनीत गोयन का इमीडिएटली आफ्टर दैट शरद प्रधान ऑल द कैंडिडेट ऑफ द समाज ऑल द एम एल एज ऑफ द समाजवादी पार्टी हु वोटेड for the bjp candidate actually gave the reason why they did they came on camera and said why they did and it's not just one example of uh, pooja pal who actually ended up saying that how could how could i not vote for yogi adityanath and and uh, his people if they finally give delivered justice well well uh, as i i no comments on what pooja pal said and she has reason to say that but as far as the others are concerned including manoj pandey if you would believe what they say then i i i i i would really i i consider it only they have no other alibi to give i i i fully believe that yes aklesh is responsible for not adopting and bringing it on ground the pda what he claimed and the campaign that he launched putting it on ground he was a failure so that but that couldn't have been the reason in this case it is very simple if you are guided by the fact that these politicians irrespective of party have any kind of ideology please remember politics is a vehicle for their making money and only the one thing works with them is money and i'm saying it 
full throatedly okay. because I know what is the ground reality. To believe that they have any other reason is absolute nonsense. Vineet Goyanka, respond, respond. It's only money. The the allegation that's being made is all the candidates who've cross voted is pure and simple money part talking here. I think, you know, uh, people like Mr. Sharath uh, Pradhan who are actually very intelligent and we used to follow them in the chat would have lost their uh, essay, uh, thinking about this. Uh, if money was the only thing, then Abhishek Manishindi would not have lost. I think uh, Congress and Samajwati party has to look inside themselves. There is no leadership. There is no leadership quality. They cannot keep the flock together. There is no project, no program. Na niti hai, na neta hai, na koi niyat hai. And only blaming Bharatinta party would not help. People are looking at them. Okay, for a minute, moment, can Sharad Pawar, uh, Pradhanji tell us what is their policy in Uttar Pradesh or in Himachal for development? Not a single project, not a single policy which can be. Ideologies are uh, been talked, but there is no ideology in Congress. For this. And as far as uh, the leadership goes, why it is called as uh, Parivarwar? Bharatinta party or CPI never had a president who was related to another president of the party. They were always elected. Tell me, please, in Congress or in Samajwadi Party or in DMK or for that matter, any other party, do you have a president who has been elected? All of them are related to each other. Beta, Beti, Bahu, yes. So when you talk about this, the policies are made by the president, the leader of the party. So in Samajwadi Party, Akhilesh only qualification is his son of Mulayamji. There is no other qualification. If it is Rahulji or Sonyaji, the only qualification is their blood of that person who was the previous president. So people are aware of this. They should talk about policies. They should talk about programs. They should talk Javed, about... let me bring in Javed on that point. Let me bring in Javed Ansari on that point. Javed, merit in this criticism that if a leader imposes his will, uh, he will face this allegation of Parivar Vaad. And it's Parivar Vaad that's adversely impacted the Congress both in Himachal and the Samajwadi party in Uttar Pradesh, sir. So where was the Parivar Vaad in this case? In, in uh, by fielding Abhishek Manu Singh me, a choice I know is, is, a choice from, uh, from the party leadership unacceptable to people on ground they may want so their how own is that, candidate how, how is that how is that Parivarvad and how is that on the ground the fact is and let's not be naive about it the fact is that these people have voted for and you know Sharad Pradhan has has made, has dwelt at length on that on why they've cross voted. So, Let's not talk about ethics and morality and Parivarvad as if people are guided by huge ideological issues. No, sir. There were no ideological issues whether BJP or the opposition MLA in, in Karnataka voted for the Congress. And the, neither do I believe or any the MLAs in Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh guided by any ideological reasons. They've all voted because they they believe for whatever reasons and they, and they also believe that the BJP is the is the winning side. It's always good to be on the B winning side rather than hang around in the opposition where you have no chance. Okay, uh, Shehzad Punawala, you won the last word in, you had your hand up. It's nothing to do with Parivarvad, it's simply hitching their wagon to the rising sun is what Javed Ansari perceives. But you know, Javed in a sense is not wrong. Preserving our own ambitions and self-interest is not a crime in politics. I don't take this arguments of money bags, etc. Because there's no proof. You can keep saying this about anybody. You can say journalists took money. You can say somebody was sent to Rajya Sabha because she was doing a B team as a journalism. Okay. So I don't think these claims have any sense. The claim that you can say is that preserving of self-interest. And I think everyone sees their ambition and their interest. And therefore... Uh, no, no, I have not taken any names. Why have no, you okay, understood let's, somebody let's stay that on the you should issue not be that we're debating Javed. Himachal Pradesh, Karnataka and... Yeah, let's Himachal. stay on the end. So, so I think, yeah, Gaurav, so I'm just wrapping up what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, Gaurav, that even if somebody's seeing their ambition and their interest fulfilled with the BJP, it means that the BJP is here to stay. Rahul is not a viable option. Akhilesh is not a viable option. And that's not a crime in politics. But having said that, I think these allegations, wholesale allegations, somebody took money, somebody was being a B team of somebody, therefore yeah. was sent to Raj Sabha. I think we should avoid that. Preeti, last word, quick last word, last 30 seconds, last 30 seconds on Sabha. this part of the broadcast. The writing but as a journalist, I'll tell you what I'd really like to watch yes. out for. What's going to happen tomorrow? Yes. Is uh, because now it's not just about Abhishek Manu Singhvi. He was gracious in his defeat. He said he'll come right. back. He's congratulated uh, the BJP candidate, Mr. Mahajan. But now, you know, the Congress would really need to rethink because 
what they had was a speck of a state in the Hindi heartland. Now, are they on the cusp of losing that? And, you know, why is a question they need to address. And our entire yes. team will be tracking that story very, very closely. What happens in Himachal Pradesh tonight and in the next 24 to oh, yeah, 48 you, hours. To all my guests, many thanks for joining me.